Hello there and welcome to Coley's Garden. Today is the 1st of July. It's a windy, damp day here today in the northeast of Ireland. Today we're in Coley's Secret Garden and I'm going to continue giving Coley's Secret Garden a complete makeover. So if you watch my previous videos, you would have seen that I recreated this whole section. I've also weeded over here and have installed some rocks to create raised garden beds. So in today's video, I'm going to be planting a few shrubs, wildflowers and crops. And hopefully I'll be able to find some trees to plant in here. So coming over here, you can see I have some beautiful dianthus. So that has been growing in here from seed. I also have some sage that I've potted up only recently and that was growing in water for several weeks. So they will eventually fill in the space and create beautiful edible shrubs. So just coming over to this side, you can see I already installed some bark and it's looking so much better already. I'm also going to try and propagate um, some angel wing through plant layering, which is what I've been doing for years. So you can see I can't put too much um, big shrubs in here anymore as the space is very tight. But I will be adding some wildflowers and perennials. We have the beautiful spindle tree right here. We have a pear tree that has been transplanted. We also have some gorse in the hedgerow. And like I said in my previous videos, I will be installing some more fruit trees to create the hedgerow. It will be a biodiversity hedgerow. You can see there it's continuing all the way down. So that would probably happen in the next video. Um, and then of course I will be amending this soil once it's all completed and all the shrubs, trees, wildflowers or crops are in place. Then we have the beautiful hawthorn right there. Okay, so for today then I'm just going to plant these and um, I'm going to do this off camera. This is another unedited video like I do with all my videos and I'm just using one hand, so one hand is just using the phone so I'll have to do this off camera and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so before I plant my beautiful dianthus, I just want to show you the issue I have with a lot of areas in the garden, which is um, poor soil. So I'm going to be adding amendments in here before I put the dianthus in, otherwise this plant won't survive. Um, but you can see here, this soil is really, really dry. So I've just mixed up some native soil and compost in here, and I'm just going to be pouring a little bit in first, and then I'll plant the dianthus. Okay, so you can see I just put a tin layer of the native soil and compost and that will certainly help my dancers to settle in here. You can see this is really good. It's not really root bound or anything, so that would be very happy. And then I'll just pour the remaining native soil and compost around it. And that will certainly help the plant to do well. I'm also going to be planting some borage in here, which is another beautiful, tasty, edible plant. And of course, that will eventually fill in the space, create an excellent ground cover. Okay, so just coming over to the patio, I'm going to find some more edible plants to put into the new raised garden. You can see we've got some beautiful nasturtiums, we've got some borage. So I'm going to be planting and of course I will have to transplant these, they're getting overcrowded in here. I'll work with these ones today and I will plant some nasturtiums. Okay. And of course I will be walking around the gardens and seeing what else I can propagate through plant layering, such as the catmint. That would be an excellent plant to put into those new raised garden beds because of course they're edible and they spread abundantly so and I'll also do the same with the mint okay I may even plant some strawberries as well because these are also very easy to propagate through plant layering okay so just coming over here now find a suitable spot to put our borage and nasturtiums. So you can see I've just dug out a hole here and I'm going to be putting some fuchsia, I may even put some buddleia, 
because I do want to um, attract pollinators. So, okay, so I'm just going to put this here for now and see. Perhaps somewhere here. Yeah, somewhere here, I suppose. And of course, the nasturtiums will spread abundantly. So, um, let's see, we're going to put the nasturtiums. Okay. So again, I'm going to do this off camera and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so I just planted some lemon thyme in here. This was growing in this tin can. Well, actually it grew in water to begin with. And then I transplanted it in here. So that will spread abundantly in here, creating a big clump of edible herbs. You can see I planted the sage. We have the borage. We have the dianthus and we have the nasturtiums. So all of these will grow abundantly in here and of course they're all edible, so it's an excellent combination to have in a garden. So I'm just gonna bring you over here now to the vegetable garden and I'm going to show you how I propagate my strawberries for free through plant layering. So you see the strawberries act a little bit like a creeping buttercup, so they have all these beautiful runners and they root into the ground. You can see that is actually a buttercup, but they do pretty much the same thing. I'm just going to give you an example. I can, let's see over here. Oh yeah, so we'll use my fork. Okay, so just coming over to this side. I'm going to give you an example. Yeah, okay. So you can see here, We've got runners running all the way underneath the soil and bringing it over to here, which has created another strawberry. You can see there. So I'm just gonna pull back some of the weeds so you can see. Now I'm going to actually propagate this one today. And you will see as soon as I pull it out um, that the runners, well, maybe you won't now because, let's see. Where is it now? Yeah, let's see. Yeah, see the runner is running all the way underneath here. So I do have to be very careful when breaking off so that I don't destroy the roots for this actual plant. Okay, so I'm just going to dig a little bit more and then I might have to cut it off a little bit. So we want to keep those roots on them, of course. Just coming in at it, this angle here now. Okay, let me see now if I can show you. There you go. See, that has just detached itself from here. And in return, it's given me a nice strawberry and so that's going over to the new Cody secret garden and of course they'll be able to get an abundance of strawberries just from this one plant because it will spread abundantly into the garden um, I even have some over here you can see spring closer so these were put here through plant layering as well okay So let's see where to plant our strawberries. And of course, don't have them too close to the um, border because you want them to spread their runners. So, and obviously you want to keep them in the actual raised garden bed. So I'm going to plant them here somewhere, stepping back a good bit from the border. Just, you can see the soil is really tough. So that's why I constantly have to make amendments to the soil. Okay, so I'm going to do this off camera again and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so that's it. Um, I just planted my strawberries and I also added some amendments to the soil by using the organic compost. Yeah, so the reason why the ground was so tough was because I had all of these rocks buried beneath it, which is a very common thing on our land, which is why we've been able to create all these beautiful raised garden beds in the first place. But I'm going to end the video here. I don't want the video to get too long. But in the next video then you will see me planting some beautiful trees and shrubs like the Bodleia. I'm also going to be planting some broom. 
Um, I may even plant a nice silver birch tree in there somewhere. Lots of edible fruit trees and anyways, that's my goal because like I said in my previous videos, 90% of my garden is edible and that's what I want. I want to keep increasing um, lots of edible plants and stuff in here. So just bring you over onto this side. Now we're heading into the woodland garden, um, which of course is not looking much like a woodland just yet. But once all these trees grow up, it will. So you will notice something a little bit different here if you watch my previous videos. And that is because I removed this big rock. So yeah, I've been always wanting to try and get at this rock. But now it's going to create a beautiful feature in the garden and I've also sat on it and it's quite comfortable in here. So I could just sit in here and just take in all the beauty around me. Um, plus it's much safer for my son when he's jumping off the trampoline. So that's a bonus. And of course, like I said in my previous videos, I will then tackle this raised garden bed by planting lots of beautiful native Irish trees, shrubs, wildflowers and crops. I'm going to be planting a nice silver birch along here somewhere. So it doesn't look like much right now looking at the garden as you can see because all of my plants are really young. I'll also probably have to protect my nasturtiums from the rabbits because we do have a lot of rabbits on the land and it'd be nothing to them to just eat my edible plants. So I might put some netting around these just until they grow up a little bit. But yeah, so in the next video, which will probably be tomorrow, please God, um, by then I will plant some more trees. I may have to go out and purchase some buddleia because I don't have any growing at the moment. So sometimes you have to do that, you know. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks very much for watching and God bless.